بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی انیدر ویڈیو آن انڈرویڈ ایپ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ سو گائز ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سٹارٹ آر پروجیکٹ سو ہیر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کریئٹ این نیو پروجیکٹ اینڈ وی ویل کلک دی سلیکٹ دی ایمٹی ایکٹیویٹی وی کلک آن نیکسٹ اینڈ لیٹس ری نیم دی پروجیکٹ ایس ایس ٹو لائٹ ٹوٹوریل اینڈ لیٹس جسٹ کلک آن فینش so we are only uh, going to use the button knife library that is the view binding library so i am just i am just going to uh, copy the code of that dependency and we are going to paste it inside our build.gradle file so our project is now ready and let me go to our build.gradle and in here at the last we are going to paste them Alright, so now we just need to click on sync now so that the libraries are uh, integrated into our project. So now it's done. So first of all, we are we have this main activity and so we now have to, uh, first of all, you uh, write the code for our XML part of our activity. So here we have the activity main. So here instead of this constant layout, we are going to use the relative layout. and i am just going to remove the text view from here and in here we only we have to use the uh, recycler view because we want to show the data i mean the uh, we want to show the categories which we have inserted inside our database so it means that first of all when we will open the application for the first time it will be blank all right then we will have the floating action button here so that the user is able to add the code for that all right so here we have the recycler view we say it like match parent and we have to set an id to our recycler view and then we are going to okay so that's it we have the recycler view and then we have to use the floating action button here okay so we have the floating action button then we can say match parent wrap content let me just uh, remove i mean here then we can have the uh, use the some right line parent bottom it will be true then we have to make it to our right so we can say align parent right it will be true and then we can say mark we can set the margin of that to 20 dp and then we can set the id as fab at category all right and after that we are going to use uh, an icon for that so here we have uh, let me say source and we can have the ic launcher bar for now we can use that all right so here we have done it right so only we have to first of all bind our views to our main activity so here we are going to use the bind view r dot id dot r view here we can initialize our recycler view here then we are going to use the fab so here we can say fab add category so we have flat floating action button fab add so after this we are going to initialize the butter knife library so here we can say butter knife dot bind and we have to pass on the context here all right guys so here we have this activity okay so right now what we are going to do is we already have the recycler view and we want to show the user uh, the recycler view the data inside our recycler view so here we can just say it like recycler view dot set has fixed size it will be true and then we can say recycler view dot set layout manager and we can use the linear layout manager so we have the linear layout manager and inside this we can pass on this current context and there we need an array list because for every recycler view we require an array list so here we have the array list of type category and we can say array list category all right so here it is saying that we don't have any class for that so let me just add a new package name and in here we can say it like 
models and inside that model package we can have a java class and that will be the category class all right so inside our category class we are going to okay so here we will only have the title of the category but for that we also have to use the primary key all right so here we can say private string id and we can say title all right so here we can generate the uh, constructor of that so here i select the constructor and it is saying we have some problem okay so now we can just import it let me just import it like this then here we have to generate the getter and setter so here we have the getter and setter for both id and the title so now we have the category here so we only have to use it initialize it first of all so here we can say array list category equal to new array list all right and finally we can just say array cat list category dot add all and inside that we are going to write a code so for that code uh, i mean it will uh, it will return us the array list uh, of all the all of all the categories that are inserted inside the database so for that we are going to now use another class and that one will be the database helper class all right so here i click on new java class and here we name it as database helper so here inside our database helper class we are going to use the sqlite method and that is the sqlite open helper so after we have this sqlite open helper we are going to implement these two methods and also we need to add the constructor here we can say like this but here we have to remove all these attributes all right and here we have the context here then we have to use a database name so here we can say like mydb dot db all right then we have the factory we can pass it as null and we have to mention the database version and it will be one all right so now this is great and after uh, this we are going to create the, the tables so in order to create the tables we can write the code here like sqlite database or i think we can minimize it to like db so here we can say db dot execute sql and in here we can say database constant dot category query all right so here we can create the class and it will be like my constants all right so here we can say public static string what was the name of it so we can have the cat query all right like this and it still have these two problem let me see what are those problem here so here we have my constant all right so here we have the query so for this we can just create write the code here okay so here we have to uh, write the query so that will be like this oh sorry so here we have to use create table and the name of the table will be category okay and then we can simply say like this or we can just okay so before that let me just add the table 
name cat equal to it will be category then we will have public static string table cat id then we will have public static string table cat title all right so here we can just say like category id and here we can say the title as like this all right so now we can create public static string query uh, sorry cat underscore query and here we are going to write so here we can say select sorry uh, create table plus here we can say table name category then we can say it like here and then we can say plus category id so for this we can say table category id and then we have to append this like integer so the it the id will be like integer and it will be primary key and auto increment and then we will have to append like table cat title and it will be text all right and we have to close that through braces all right so this is the query so here we have added the query here uh, so it will be run and then here inside our own upgrade method we are going to uh, drop the table if it is already created so here we can simply say d sorry let me just rename it to db then we can say db dot execute sql and here we can have to write the code again for the drop of the table so here let me just write category drop so here we will have drop table if it exists all right so we will just remove everything from here so here we can say drop table if exists and then we can have the table name here so here we can say table name category so here let me just copy that and here we can say my constant dot category drop all right so that's it now our table will be created but it will not have any value okay so after we have added these uh, the tables so right now what we are going to do is we let me just write the code here and here we can say okay so before that let me just go back to here again and here we can create a method that will get all the uh, categories but we will will not write the code here we will write the code after some time so here we can simply say public array list of type category and we can say get all categories let me just import it and it won't take any arguments and so here we are first of all have to initialize an array list so we can say array list of type category we can say array list cat equal to new array list 
then we can say sqlite database db equal to this dot get readable database okay so before because we are reading from the, the database so here we are just yeah, doing that all right and after this what we are going to use is we are going to use a cursor so that we have to fetch all the data from the database so here we can say db dot raw query and inside that we can say select static from and here we will have the table name so we can say my constant dot category table name cat and finally we can pass on null here because we don't have any selection argument here all right and after this we can check if the cursor dot move to first so here we can say do do while loop we have to use the do while loop and inside while loop we can say cursor dot move to next so while the cursor move to next let me just have a semicolon here and inside our do we can say string id we can fetch it like this cursor dot get string and it will be of index zero then we can say string title equal to cursor dot get string it will at be at index one then we can say category category equal to new category and in here we can pass the id and the title and finally we can just say array list dot add and here we can add the category object here all right and finally we can just return the array list all right so that is the code so here we can simply say my constant sorry this time it won't be the constant so here we first of all have to use the database helper we can say like this then we can say helper equal to new database helper and in here we have to pass on the current class context and then here we can say helper dot get all categories all right so in, in that way we are able to fetch all the categories if they are added inside our database all right so after this we have to use the adapter for our recycler view but we will do that in our next part of this video series so guys if you like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you and good